One out, and now Kaylin Seidel. She's had a good season going, hitting the ball well, batting third now today. Seidel, the left fielder, takes a strike at the knees. Morgan Hess, the pitcher for Minnewaska, has a very good fastball. And she has really good control. She keeps that ball down. Here's a ball hit well to right field. It's deep and it's going to be off the fence. And uh, what happened? Oh, I didn't see it because of my angle. It turns out to be a home run because it hit off the scoreboard. And that's over the fence. So Seidel hits a two-run home run. And she takes one low and away. One ball to Schmiesing, batting seventh. For most of the season, she has been the leadoff hitter, now in the number seven spot. Right-handed hitter. Hits it hard on the ground. Knocked down by the shortstop. She has no play. A run comes in. Sox Center scores on the infield hit by Kinsey Schmiesing. So first and third for Sox Center. The hitter now, Michaela Olsen. She's got good power. She hits a line drive. Base hit to left field. That'll score a run. Coming in to score for Sox Center is Gabby Olsen as her older sister, Michaela, has the RBI single. Jill Klopaki goes to second base. So Sox Center scores in the second. It's now 8-4, to four, Minnewaska. Olsen at second, Menson at first, and the pitch to Adi. Line drive to right center field. It's going to drop for a base hit. And Michaela Olsen will score. Two for two for Shelby Adi, knocking in a run here in the second. So the hitting and the scoring continuing for Sox Center. And it's now 8-6. to six. Minnewaska's lead is down to two. Now Kenzie Schmiesing. Had an infield hit, knocked in a run. Back in the first, batting now with two on. Lines one to right field. It's going to be in there for a base hit. And Menson will score. So Kenzie Schmiesing with a two-out RBI single. Now it's the leadoff hitter, the pitcher, Morgan Hess. And she pops it up. And it's going to be caught by Weirs in foul territory, the third baseman. Getting a big hitter out. Hess, last time up, hit a three-run home run. And Cassie Bonsack has retired Minnewaska in order in the top of the third. So nothing. We're in the third inning. And it's ball one to Jill Klopaki. A week from tomorrow, that's when the softball playoffs begin for Sox Center and also Melrose. Klopaki swings and lines one to center field. It's going to be over the fence, a home run. Joe Klopaki hits a home run. That was a line drive that carried over the center field fence. That'll tie the game now at 8-8. Eight to eight. That was a line drive home run hit by Joe Klopaki. Now Minnewaska has scored. And Minnewaska regains the lead now, 9-8, to eight, after starting out this game, scoring eight times in the first. So it's going to be Shelby Adi, who is 2-2 two for two to start out the fourth inning for Sox Center. Adi, the catcher, batting fifth. She also has a run batted in. And she hits one to center field again, a base hit. 3-for-3 three for, three for Shelby Adi. Three times she has been right on that fastball. Tie game in the fourth inning. Sox Center has a chance to take the lead if Gabby Olson can come through here with two outs. And the pitch. She hits it hard past the shortstop into left field. And now Gabby Olson's trying for second base. She will get there. She didn't stop. So Weirs scores. And a hard hit ball by Gabby Olson. And Sox Center now leads 10 to 9. Two outs, and now Ashley Blum will bat for Minnewaska. She's one for three. She hits it hard. Glove by Schmeezing at short, throws to first base. She's out. That was an excellent play by Schmeezing on a hard smash. She gloved it cleanly 
And another accurate throw to first base to get Blom, and so Minnewaska does not score. They had a leadoff double, and they leave Stewart at third base. So Minnewaska will have one more at bat. Sox at her leads. Sox at her leads, 10 to 9. We're in the sixth. One out, nobody on. And the one two pitch to Schmeezing. Line drive down the line, base hit. She's four for four. Big game for Kinsey Schmeezing. And the pitch to Callie Campson. She takes it, and here's a play down to third base, and then the ball was thrown away, and Schmeezing will get up after the slide and score. Well, there's the aggressive base running coming through for Sox Center, and it's now 11 to nine. So it's 11 to nine, Sox Center. And the left-hander's pitch. Gabby Olson swings, drives it to deep left center. It's going to be one hop off the fence. Gabby Olson will check into second base with a two-out double. So Gabby Olson with her second hit. A two-out double. 15 hits now for Sox Center against a very good pitcher, Morgan Hess. That'll give a chance for Jill Klopocki to swing again. And she hits it hard on the ground. The shortstop, Stewart, knocked it down, picks it up, throws it to first base. She's safe, and Sox Center will score. Gabby Olson didn't stop running. That's heads up softball. So Jill Klopocki hit it hard, put it in play. Gabby Olson kept on running, scoring from second base. And Sox Center has scored twice now in this inning. And it's now 12 to nine. Two outs in the last at bat for Minnewaska. 12 to nine, Sox Center. And the pitch, it is hit deep and it is over the fence. Oh my goodness. A three run home run will tie this game for Minnewaska. A two out. Three run home run hit by Bailey Pooler. That ties the game now at 12 to 12. Trying to get a sacrifice bunt down. Schmeezing at second base, nobody out. And the left hander's pitch, he's bunting again. This time it is a fair ball. They'll go to first base and they throw it away. Down the right field line and Sox Center will score. Well, Bosak put it in play. Gabby Olson batting ninth in this ball game, a double and an RBI single. So she's hit the ball against Hess. Here's the pitch, high chopper to short through the hole in it. Oh, here's a play at third base and the throw. She didn't catch it. She's safe. One strike to Michaela Olson. The winning run is at third base. One out, second and third for Sox Center. And the left-hander's pitch, Michaela Olsen lines it to right field, it's a base hit! And the run comes in for Sox Center. The game-winning hit by Michaela Olsen. Farlow scores, Sox Center wins the game, 14 to 13. So Michaela Olsen with her fourth hit delivers the walk-off game winner.